Welcome to this presentation about different ways of putting text on slides without bullets. Before we get into the techniques, let's review five principles that should govern how we design our presentations, according to Swedish PowerPoint designer David J.P. Phillips. First, one point per slide. In other words, don't give the viewer a choice. Grab and maintain focus by having only one main point per slide. Here's a slide with two main points. Why two? Perhaps the designer thinks he or she is being more efficient, saving time with fewer slides. Wrong. Clarity and simplicity bring efficiency, not clutter. Also, the more often slides change, the better you can keep the audience's attention. Second, no sentences. Sentences belong in the speaker's notes, not on your slide. Instead of sentences, use short bits of text that enhance the image. Also, the image should enhance the text. This is the 50-50 rule of combining text and image. Each is incomplete without the other. Short, pithy quotes are an exception, of course, to the no-sentence rule. Third, use size. In this typical slide, notice how PowerPoint's default template tricks you into making the headline the largest object. Also notice how your eyes stay on the headline and not the content. But what happens when the headline is smaller? Notice how your eyes fall down into the content. So the largest text on your slide will be what is most noticed. So make sure you control that focus to your presentation's advantage. Fourth, use contrast. In these lists, there's no contrast. But watch what happens when contrast is applied as each bullet point is spoken about. Your eyes follow and stay focused on the high contrast element. In PowerPoint, these are often called bill lists and allow you to present information without a cluttered look. Fifth, limit the number of objects per slide. What's the optimal number of objects for a slide? Here's a test designed by David Phillips. You're about to see a slide with boxes on it. Notice how long it takes you to count the boxes on the slide. Ready? Here's the first slide. How long did it take you? Normally about two seconds to count ten of them. Now the next set. Again, notice how long it takes you to count them. Here it is. It took you about 1.2 seconds to count seven. Now the last set. Ready? Here it is. Almost instantaneous, right? 0.2 seconds. Now, in terms of time, these differences don't seem like much, but measured by cognitive load or cognitive resources required, the slide with five boxes was processed 500% easier than the slide with seven and 1,000% easier than the slide with 10. Multiply that difference over the course of an entire presentation and you end up with the usual boredom and irritation associated with PowerPoints. So, the optimal number of objects per slide? Fewer than seven. But wait a minute, doesn't that increase the number of slides? Yes, it does. However, the number of slides has never been the problem. The problem has been the number of objects on the slides. 